Today we're going to be talking about Baure chocolate and the origins of this wild cocoa. So here we are with Mariela. She's going to be telling us a little bit about Baure chocolate. Mariela, tell me what is interesting about this chocolate. Okay, look. This chocolate is awesome because it's made by wild collection organic cocoa beans. So when you say that it's wild organic cocoa beans, um, what do you mean by wild? Does that mean that it's not grown on plantation with rows and rows of cocoa trees? Yes. It grows in the depth of the Amazon forest. Wow. So, are you saying like humans did not plant these trees? No, these beans has been growing in the Amazon from pre-Columbian times. Now tell me a little bit about the name, Baure. Where does that come from? It's a little town from Beni. So, Mariela, why don't you tell us a little bit about the process? What do they do with the cocoa bean? Well, uh, people from Baure collect the cocoa beans from the trees and make them ferment in uh, some boxes with the heat of the place of the... No, I, ma I imagine it's very hot there in the Amazon. Yeah, it's yeah, really so hot. So I'm sure it ferments quickly. Yeah, it ferments quickly and then they put them to dry. Okay. It is all handcrafted. Well, I don't know about you, but I want to try some of this chocolate. Yes, go ahead. All right, let's do it. It's nice, it's... um. It's really nice. It's creamy. Very sweet. I, I think the flavor is like it says um, wild and a little handcrafted. Mm -hmm. You know, something um, that I feel like, like when you taste like a lot of like the Brazilian chocolates, like they're very, I don't know, like greasy. I mean, it's like sugar and fat. I mean, it's just... Yeah. But like with this one, I mean, you know, you got that, like, it's definitely, it's sweet and it's it's creamy, but it's not like too creamy, like fatty, you know, it's just, um, it's good. It's smooth. Okay. Well, I don't want to eat too much of this because we also need to try the, um, the dark chocolate. So let's try that one as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this. This is 70% cacao. Wow, 70% wild organic cocoa. Yeah, All right. cocoa. I'm, I'm ready. I like dark chocolate, so. Uh, I, I love dark chocolate. All right, so here we go. It definitely has the snap to it. Yeah. So the snap is important, you know, that when you hear that snap in it, it means that it's quality chocolate. Yeah. All right. Let's try this. I like it. You have to give it a second to let it start to melt. Yeah, and it, it's like it starts to like transform, like like it begins to intensify in your mouth as it melts. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a chocolate that you don't just want to gobble it down. I mean, you want to give it time. You know, mm. you, you want to sit down, taste a piece, and take your time to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. You can definitely taste the cacao. Mm-hmm. It's not taste artificial. Yeah. It definitely tastes like chocolate. Exactly. I mean, you eat a lot of a lot of chocolates and it's like you're eating chemicals or you know some other something else but I mean this just tastes pure yeah you know, it, this this is the real thing yes it is I think 
This is really healthy. Yeah, isn't I think I've heard that like they're like they may be considering uh, cocoa uh, like a superfood or something. Yes, they only cultivate the cocoa the uh, once a year. Wow, uh, they're going out into the jungle. They're hacking their way through the forest mm-hmm. to get to these things. Um, they're making a real effort to preserve. The rainforest. Yes, and um, that that is something you know worth being honored. And uh, so I just want to say, um, people of Baure, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you for uh, preserving the rainforest. And um, you guys are doing a great job. This chocolate is great. Yes, it is. All right. Well, thank you, Mariela. This has been a great episode of the varieties of chocolate, of Bolivian chocolate. So it's been great and tasty. Yes. <laughs> thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.